All right, so I got an email from a viewer and he told me that his bicycle got stolen. And he asked me if I would test different bike locks to see which one is worth it, which one's the best. So I went to Amazon. That wasn't nearly as loud as I thought it was gonna be. So I went to Amazon, I bought a whole assortment of different bike locks. We got some like real cheap looking ones a handlebar lock, some real like heavy duty ones that are supposed to be extremely good. Uh, we're gonna test them out and I'm gonna see how long it would take me to, or a thief, to break these locks and steal a bicycle. I did a poll on YouTube and you guys said that about three minutes is a good time frame, like a good time limit to steal the bike. Any of these locks that I can bypass in under three minutes, we are gonna consider them uh, not that good, and we're gonna consider the bike to be stolen. Let's go lock up a bike and see how they do. Uh, all right. Now, my first lock, so no one steals my bike, is this. And you kind of just pull out the cable, and then you lock it around your bike, and nobody can steal it. So, since I don't want this to get stolen, let's just put this right here. All right, <clears throat> nice and secure. All right, so the three minute timer starts now. <clears throat> Ooh, what do we have here? A little bike. I think I could probably, oh, no way. Oh, I gotta mix up the code. I think I could probably break this with my hands. What if I just, <laughs> Oop, oh, I got me a free bike. That was, uh, wow. Look at that. That is pathetic. I, I literally <laughs> thought, <laughs> I brought a pair of side cutters because I thought I would just like snip the wire, which I'll go ahead and test now. Oh yeah, exactly what I thought. I thought I would just go up and snip it, but with this, you don't even need that. Well, that's junk. All right, so our second bike lock is the Bell quick zip it's basically like a some type of metal zip tie type deal it says it has a steel core i imagine that i'm going to be able to cut right through it with a pair of side cutters in probably two seconds so we don't want someone to steal our bike let's mix up the code timer starts now i'm gonna try what i did last time try to just see if i can just break it Okay, I think that's a little, a little sturdier. So let's see if we have just something as simple as side cutters. Oh. Maybe we can. Oh, oh. Okay. So the belt quick zip, a little, all you need is, is a, a pair of side cutters and you've stolen your bike. Pretty sad. All right guys, so before we go any farther, today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh and I'm gonna give you three reasons why you should choose HelloFresh. Reason number one, it is extremely simple. For those of you that don't know, HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service. They send you a package that has all the ingredients inside of it and then you make the meal. It's super simple. And the reason I know it's simple is because I figured it out. You guys also know that I'm basically a Neanderthal. So if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So the one that I made was the one pan beef enchilada. Now we all know that I don't know how to read. So I pretty much just looked at the pictures. For those of you that can read, all the instructions are on the back and I did all the steps. I cooked green peppers, I cooked meat, I made enchiladas, I put cheese on it, I melted it, I ate it. I did all the things and it turned out really good. So like I said, if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. It's very simple. Reason number two is that it saves time because you don't have to go through like a recipe book or go through Google and try to figure out, you know, do you have all the ingredients for this or do I have this or do I have that? You don't have to worry about any of that. They send everything straight to you 
to make the meal. So there's no more wondering, all the ingredients are right there. And instead of spending all that time looking for ingredients, you can spend that time cooking and then boom, there's your meal. And number three, not only is it more convenient than grocery shopping, it's also cheaper. It is 25% less expensive than takeout. So there you have it, three reasons why you should try HelloFresh. If you are interested, you can go to hellofresh.com, use code TylerTube16, and you will get 16 free meals plus free shipping. And all of the links will be in the description. All right, so our second one, or third one, is the Master Lock Classic. Like I think I had one. Of, I think I had one of these when I was a kid. This is a pretty, like just basic uh, bicycle lock. It says it has a five sixteenths inch cable, and I still feel like a pair of side cutters will probably just take it right out. I bet this is the code six five three six. That's my that's my code to my bicycle lock. In case you guys want to steal it. Oh no. Oh okay. Never mind. I thought this piece was plastic even though it kind of feels plastic. I don't know, that doesn't feel very, doesn't feel very secure to me. Let's go for the worst case scenario too, which would be if you gave the person a bunch of slack. Cause I, I feel like I can probably just break this thing right off. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Isn't that uh, pretty on brand for Master Lock? It destroyed the the tumbler. Like the the, tum the tumbler itself is destroyed. I feel like that took a, almost less effort than the first one. You just a slightest little pull, and uh, you're done for. So this right here, this is nothing but like a uh, just a deterrent maybe. And also just for fun, let's see. Say someone couldn't couldn't pull it off. Let's see if you can cut it with side cutters. Oh, two hands? Oh, you can almost get it. If you kind of nip at it a little bit. Ah, there we go. So that would be what? less than a minute. And then if you had a pair of these miniature bolt cutters, <laughs> okay, so definitely do not buy the Master Lock uh, bicycle lock. Your bike will get stolen. Next up, we have just your classic kind of uh, chain, like actual chain link type lock that you would lock around a bike. I'm worried about this this part right here being plastic. I don't know, maybe it just has a plastic. Okay, looks like it has metal insides, so maybe it'll be all right. So let's lock her up, throw away the key. Let's first just try a couple yanks. timer started already. Hand grip came off. Okay, so pretty safe to say you're not gonna you're not gonna pull that in under three minutes. So any good thief that's looking to steal a bike anyway is gonna have a pair of bolt cutters. These bolt cutters will fit inside of a backpack which is kind of the uh, what I went for. So if we want this bike, let's just go ahead. All right, we got it. Oh, we got the casing to deal with. Oh, all right. Can we? No, oh, all right. So, we got the bike. I don't know how long that was, but I definitely feel like that was under three minutes. And that was even with me talking. I was just looking here. 
I don't, a good chain, a good chain link is usually gonna be welded. I don't think these are even welded. So far, this is better than like the zip tie or the two locks that you can just pull off and break, but still not a very good option because simple pair of bolt cutters and you're done for. So, not that great. Next up, we have a master lock U-lock. This is probably more of a like classic way that people would, that you would lock up a bicycle. I still have very low hopes. Uh, I think the bolt cutters will just go right through it. I don't know what all this is. Okay. This actually seems pretty, pretty legit. Okay. Timer starts now. So you're not gonna get it out that way. But if you have a pair of bolt cutters. Oh man, this might be too big for these bolt cutters. Oh man, this is too big for these bolt cutters. Okay, there's, there's no way bolt cutters are gonna get it. All right, pause the timer. So, one of the downsides to modern technology is that it makes thieving really easy. So, restart the timer. Let's, any good thief is gonna have a cordless grinder. So let's just go ahead. Like is stolen. So uh, that did about what I expected. So that took it, what, less than 30 seconds probably to cut right through that. So much safer than the other ones. Uh, if your bike is in a place where noise is going to attract people and a criminal is probably not going to want to make that much noise. So they have to have a grinder or a very big set of bolt cutters. That's actually not a bad option. But if noise is kind of irrelevant, a grinder is going to zip right through and uh, your bike is gone. Next lock is made by Mission 140 and it is a security scale 19 diamond. It also says that it is hardened steel, patented, scooter friendly and rust free. I have a feeling that the bolt cutters are probably going to be useless, but I would say that the grinder it's probably going to cut right through in no time. It's un unusual, but cool. Oh, okay. That's pretty, uh, pretty beefy. Timer starts now. I'm going to go for the bolt cutters first. I feel like they're going to be completely useless, but we'll give them a try. Oh wow, they barely even fit into the jaws. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no way you're gonna, you're not cutting through these with a small set of bolt cutters. No way. To the grinder. You gotta kind of hold it still. Okay, so it's cut through, but, oh, come on. So this is actually smart on their part. It's cut through, but the way the lock is designed, where it's got like a triangle or whatever, you gotta cut through it twice to get it out of there. Okay. 
I don't know what that time was, but uh, that was very loud. And that would, <laughs> again, if you're in a place where sound is going to attract attention, you're going to have a lot of attention uh, pointed to you. <laughs> so, but so far, that's the best one. And uh, I like how it's triangle shaped. So you can't, so if you cut one side, you can't just twist it off like you could the master lock. Uh, that definitely adds extra time. So that's a good feature. This next one is made by uh, CD lock, I guess, which is the same thing as the old, other one. This is a security scale 18 out of 18 gold. So we'll see about that. It has a like integrated mount system. So this is like a sheath that you can mount somewhere and then you can pull out the lock. That's kind of cool. I like that. So we just stick it in here. Oh, I see. I see a lot of flaws with this. All right. There you go. I think that it might be flat enough that I might be able to uh, get the bolt cutters in there. All right, timer starts now. Let's see if we can just... All right, let's just switch to the grinder. I think I should be able to cut through this thing in about two seconds. All right. Yeah. That one was definitely the most obnoxious one to deal with because it's flopping all over the place and it's like where it's wide you gotta like with a four and a half inch grinder you can't cut through all the way on one side so you got to hit it from the back side too and then to get it off uh, so it's definitely probably the most obnoxious one to deal with but still i would assume less than three minutes all right so the last one is this <laughs> this is actually meant for um motorcycles which, you know, it was like four o'clock in the morning whenever I was ordering this stuff. So I didn't realize it was for motorcycles. Uh, so it's not really gonna work on this bike because it's, it's meant to go over the handlebar and then uh, lock your front brake in so that you can't really move. But uh, with a bicycle, <laughs> if that's all that was locked up, it doesn't matter because you can just carry it. Um, so it's not really effective for bicycles, but since I have it, we will test it. And we'll put it like right here and we'll just pretend like, we'll just pretend like that is a uh, <clears throat> motorcycle handlebar. All right, start the timer. So my, my uh, method of attack is gonna be a screwdriver. And I think I'm just gonna go right up in here, try to see if I can pry open the, the lock. I mean, look how much damage we've done. Let me get a hammer. Every good thief has a hammer. All right. Let's see if we can pop this open. Oh. oh all right we got it i don't know how long that was i felt i feel like that was longer than three minutes or it might be really close to three minutes i also feel like i could have got that done way faster if it wasn't like constantly rotating and spinning around the handlebars um if it was like locked in place like it should be but anyway we got it all right so as a little recap Pretty much this, 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 and this 
don't even waste your time. Definitely these two and this one, don't even think about it. Unless you're trying to like lock up something for as cheap as possible and you don't think anybody's actually going to steal it, then maybe. This, not horrible, but bolt cutters, two seconds. This, better, uh, but the problem is you can kind of twist it and spin and like just spin the spin the bike off of it and it's also kind of uh small so i don't really like that my top two picks if it wasn't already obvious are these two specifically this one i think this if i wanted to lock up a bike i would maybe not buy this specific one this style of lock but i would try to see if i could find something that's even thicker than this so that way it would take even longer to cut through i really love the triangle design of this so that way you can't spin it so you if you're gonna cut it you gotta cut it twice or i guess you could theoretically cut it in the top and then bend it but i feel like that would just be way too hard i like this the best because it's a minimum of two cuts to get it off this one is difficult to cut because it's like moves around all the all over the place and this is too wide to cut through one in one motion with a four and a half inch cutoff disc. If you if somebody had a cordless like six inch cutoff disc, it wouldn't really be a problem. Um, but still, only one cut and the whole thing just folds open. And it's whatever you're trying to steal or whatever you're trying to prevent from getting stolen is gone. If you cannot use one of these, then I think this is a good backup option. This, uh, I mean, this is meant for motorcycles, so. <laughs> It's not horrible, but it's not going to stop somebody from stealing a motorcycle. But bicycles, it doesn't really matter. Those are the bicycle locks. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've had a bicycle stolen or you're in the market for a bicycle lock, hopefully this helps you uh, make a decision. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.